Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio with a late video. <laughs> I know I did not film it over the weekend. I was busy doing other stuff. Today is Tuesday, so I was watching the end of the Karen Reed trial. And they're about to go to um, deliberation. And I figured, now's my time. <laughs> I have something for Artemat that I want to do. Um, it's to complete a project and I need to do some dyeing so I thought I would do it right here um, in the past I think I talked about how my dog or somebody I'm not calling names tore a hole in one of my bed sheets so I took off the um, fitted sheet and the um, top sheet and I went ahead and cut the elastic and all the stuff off the corners of the fitted sheet. And I saved them because I thought, well, you know, I might need them. Sure enough, I do. So I cut, did I cut this? Or No, I ripped it because I see the strings. Okay, I ripped a long strip of this because I thought, well, um, you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Well, how do you dye a bed sheet one strip at a time? So I went ahead and ripped a long strip of it and today I'm going to rip a couple more strips because I need very thin strips to put into an Artemat project and I need pink which is like um, totally not my favorite color but I need it to finish the project the rest of it is a uh, project's almost finished but this will be the you know the piece de resistance alrighty so we have to decide how we're going to do this I don't know I don't have any pink dye. So, we're going to have to figure something out. I did not give this much thought. I don't want to use acrylic paint. I want to use something that's a bit more permanent and liquidy. Oh, Hub's home. Hang on. Okay. He, had to, he ran an errand for me, so I had to check with him. All right, so what I have here is Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay Red Ink. I think what I will do is I will mix this up and dilute it with a lot of water to make it pink. And then I, I'm going to have to add some white. Uh, let's see, do I have any white ink? Oh, looky here. <laughs> My lucky day. Is there enough in there to do it with? Let's see. Yeehaw, we're in business now, folks. Okay, so I'm going to mix these two together in another container, water it down, and then I will pour it in here, and then I will dip this, I will dip my fabric in there. So let me rip my fabric. I, I think I did a video, I know I did a video in the past about dyeing material. What I need is pieces that are about half an inch a piece wide even though I'm not going to rip it like that what I'm going to do is once it's dyed then I'm going to take this little por portion right here and I'm going to rip that in half because I need something skinny because I have to tie a bow and I don't want a big fat bow but I'd like a nice little dainty pink bow gosh I raised boys. This is not in my wheelhouse. <laughs> I don't do dainty. <laughs> but for some reason, this project just made me so happy. It's like dainty pink flowers with a dainty bow. What's wrong with me? I'm falling down the girly hole. All right. There we go. And it's okay that it's super long because I have 50 of them to do. All right, that's one. We'll see how the first one goes before I get in deep and get in trouble, <laughs> which is usually my MO. All right, and then I'm going to take this one and rip it a little smaller. That way it's more manageable. There we go. So this will this should fit nice once it's wet nicely in here. And I'm trying to determine, should I wet this first, then add the new? I don't know. Yes, I should. Yes, 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 that's it. Let me go get some water. 
Okay, I've been all over the house, outside next to the grill, to retrieve my water bottle, spray bottle, that my husband has um, reallocated for his use. No. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. I'm going to pour water. And then I'm going to take Dr. Martin's paint. Now, this stuff might be getting thick. I don't know. It's Ooh, the dropper's broken. Oh, and it's thick. <laughs> okay, so. Now, this isn't. Oh, nope, that's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my. It looks like a crime scene. Okay, um. I need to get something to dig around in here with. I need to use something disposable. Just happen to have a stirrer. Oh, like hard thick? <laughs> wow. Wow. I, jeez. Uh, I did not know that could happen. Look at that. Well, it's maybe because I don't ever use them. <laughs> They're so old. <laughs> so, so old. All right. So I'm going to see if I can't... Oh, look, yeah. They're going to kind of melt away in there. Good, 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 good. Ill-conceived plan with good results. But we're going to need a whole lot more white than that because I plunked down a lot of red in there. Not on purpose. Okay. You need to dissolve. Please, please, please. Come on, you can do it. You know you want to. Am I the only one who talks to art supplies? <laughs> please tell me I'm not. <laughs> That's lovely, but I'm wondering... Now, see, I can't stick the other end in there because then I'll have pink inside my white. And if I ever need this white for anything again, that is not an option. Let us dig around in this thing. I think I need to go buy some new paints. I'll use these all up, and then I'll go buy some new ones. I need a very light girly pink. Although dark is not bad, but I prefer lighter pink. All right, now let's go back to this end. I'm going to be covered in this stuff before it's over. <laughs> Look, already. <laughs> okay. Just glad it's not black paint, because that stuff is hard to get out from underneath my fingernails. I, I have cup, clipped them very, very short like I used to when I was doing culinary stuff, because it's so much easier to keep from getting ugh, stuff nice under your fingernails if they're not long or acrylic. Where's the big blob? Oh, surely there's one in here. Oh, yep. There it is. It was hiding on the bottom. All right. So I think I need rubber gloves. <laughs> Do I wear them? Now. All right. Let me go get a pair. All right. I saved a pair. Now, I need to take my wedding rings off, but I can't get them off my fingers. So I hope I don't rip these gloves up with the stuff that sticks out. I have a feeling this is not going to go well. <laughs> okay, so I have this, and then I'm going to pour this on here. Oh, look at all the white at the bottom. Sneaky stuff was hiding. Come on. Maybe I should have used hot water. I, I got cold water not knowing that this was going to happen, so in my defense... Uh, okay, we can forget that for now. Let me set this aside. And I don't want to spill it all over the desk. All right, so I have this. And then I'm going to take a little more of this. I hope this makes it light pink. Let's do a tester strip. I went ahead when I was in the kitchen getting the water. I went ahead and I wet the sheet. Although I think it would be more absorbent if I had left it dry but I'm gonna try an experiment to see what it's like when it's pre-wetted, pre-wet, and then use the dye on it. 
Man, I have to tell you, one of the best deals I did for my dyeing stuff was to buy these $1 sheet pans from Dollar Tree. I think I have 10 or 12 of them. I just love them. And sometimes the color does bleed from one project to the other because I don't usually clean them off. It's sort of like my jelly plate. I don't really care. And what, what's this? I don't know, some nastiness from here. Oh, well, I don't know. Is that where it came from? Oh, look, it's going to come up now. <laughs> Not now. I'm busy. Oh, oh ew. Okay. Well, it'll be multicolored pink. All right, so we push this in here. And I have a clothesline that strings from one end of the studio to the other. One of those retractable clotheslines that my friend Cindy recommended. And um, I use it all the time to dry paper, to do all kinds of st drying stuff on there. This The fabric will go up there and I'll kind of hang it over it, like loop it like you do Christmas decorations, like holly on a banister. And um, I will move it around and pin it and the ceiling fans going 100 miles an hour in here because it's summer in Texas so you know it's hotter than Hades and I will let it dry I like the fact that it will be there will be variations in the color that it won't be just like solid pink and look you can already tell it's going to be variated variated <laughs> it's going to have varied colors which is fine or it could have solid I'm not trying to do tie-dye. Not my thing. Not not something I, I'm trying to do today, at least. All right, so I did this one. And then <laughs> I've got it all over my desk. I should have laid down paper over it. Okay, so hopefully this will take like 24 hours to dry. Something like that. Oh, now i got water on my desk. Let's put you there. You go right there and let me wipe this up. That's why I like this glass Tim Holtz thing. It's really easy to clean off. The only thing is, is when you go to film, it's got a lot of glare on it with the lights because I have to see what I'm doing. And my window only gets direct sunlight till about 10 or 11 in the morning, and it's a quarter to 12. And so the, now the porch is shaded, and I don't get any sun, direct sunlight anymore. Okay, so I'm going to do a test with the, with the dry sheet as opposed to the wet sheet next. So if you're screaming, you should have done it dry, I will. I will. I promise. You know, I was looking at my stats, or YouTube sends you your stats of, you know, your week in review stuff. And still one of the most viewed videos and all the time I've ever done is that silly Kool-Aid paper. <laughs> Which I think was my very first video. People still ask me questions, and that was filled in 2009, 2018. And I still get questions and comments on it. It just cracks me up. I guess I need to do a Kool-Aid dyeing paper part two. Eight years later. <laughs> Six years later. 2018, that's 224. Yeah, six years later. I thought I'd been doing this eight years. Oh, I've lived in this in this town for eight years. Okay, there's that. I may not do it the same lightness or darkness as the other one. See, they're different. This one's darker, that one's lighter. Although I can see it here, but I don't know if it shows well on the camera. Okay. All right, so I need to put these on the mat because I can wash that off. Oh, yeah, you can see it. In it. Well, I can see it now. How about that? All right, so whoops, let me tidy this up a tad. And let's do the dry sheet. Okay, so dry sheet. Let me start a rip. So that's one, 
And then I'm going to do a second one because one who doesn't like pink can never have too much of it, right? <laughs> it's not that I don't like pink. It's just that I'm... My favorite color is green. And green complements pink. Or pink complements green. I don't know. All right, so there's that. And then there, here's an extra wide one. Oh, I should do this one in half because it's too wide. The only thing I hate about this is all these dead gum strings. All right, so let me <laughs> disentangle from all the strings. Good grief. All right, this one comes equipped with strings, but I don't have time. All right, so this is the dry sheet as opposed to the pre-wet, you know, the wet ones I did. If I really wanted intense color, I could let this sit and soak the color up overnight, but honestly, I don't have that kind of time. I want to get this project done. I'm trying to do 100 pieces a month for AOM for the summer months because that's the tourist season, and a lot of my stuff has seemed to have gone to museums, and that's when a lot of people do their family vacations, and they go to see museums. So, um... Some of my stuff is in the Smithsonian, and so I would really like to capture those people who do Artemat for the summer months while they're on vacation. They just do it for grins and giggles. They're not collectors. I'm, most of them probably are not avid collectors. They're just doing it to see what comes out. That's fine. So I thought I would, I would um, try to up my Annie. 50 a month is good enough for me. It makes my backs and shoulders hurt doing tiny flowers and using tweezers to glue them on little balls of styrofoam is not, it does not endear my back to happiness. Okay, so this is the dry version versus the wet. I, I don't think I can see any difference. I don't know. All right, so there's this. Where's that string? All right, here's this one. I have to wring it out because I don't want it to drip on my floor. Oh, look, there's some liquid in there. Okay. And we'll do another one. Oh, that includes all the strings from its neighbor laying on the table. Yee! When I go to tie the, the bows, I try to strip the strings off the edges first before I do anything because it's annoying to try to tie a bow when there's a string fighting for supremacy. And here's this. And then I have these little black specks that are coming off, but they'll brush off. They're dried, crusty stuff from the pan. It'll be fine. If I sprayed this with water, I'm wondering if this would get to be a really light pink because these others are kind of dark. It lightens up when it dries. All right, so let's give her a spray. So I can sop up the paint on the edges of the pan. Now that is going to make a color darker. So that's probably not a good idea. I would really like this pink to roll back into the rest of the pan. Okay. I need to find that white and mash it up more. Here we go. And we can ding, ding, ding. Look at all the strings. They're like cobwebs. I don't mind the white spots because what I'm going to do is I'm going to dabble this on here and then I'm going to spritz it with the water, which will hopefully make it spread out and cover more of the light spots. We shall see. All right, so here's a white spot with the dabs. It does lessen the intensity of the color a bit, but I don't know if it's gonna spread the way I think it will. I think I will have to dip it into water and to really immerse it. It's going to have to be really wet for it to spread over the white parts.
Good grief, I'm getting this mess all over the place. Good thing I have an ugly shirt on today. I mean, one with holes in it and everything. <laughs> so I'll get away from the table. I'll go take a shower and there'll be a pink spot <laughs> on my skin. <laughs> Went right through the shirt onto me. Through the little bleach hole I have in there. I don't know how I got bleach on my shirt. I don't bleach shirts. And somehow or another, I got bleach on this shirt. Maybe it was from some experiment I was doing. That's probably more of the, more of the story I should use. <laughs> All right, so let's... Oh, yeah, look at that light pink. Let's put that out there. Okay. Come on. blob of white in there still? All right, break it all down yet. Oh, wait, what? No, that's a bubble. Oh, no, that's white. Okay. Okay. All righty. Let's do some more. And this has the strings. Lots of them. Cotton spiders. All right, so let's see if I can get this lighter pink with more water in here. This was the dry sheet, so I'm using only dry sheet right now, and then getting it sopping and wet. Okay. I have a feeling this is gonna be another dark one. Although when I bring it out, it looks pretty, pretty light. Well, not as light as I thought. Eh, don't they all kind of look the same? Poo. <laughs> Let me pour more water in here then. All right, I'm gonna really water this down. To make it a very light pink. I would add white, but it's not dissolving in the little dish the way I hoped. All right, so we have one last strip. Let me use this strip to wipe up the table. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, that seems to be a lot pink, a lot um, lighter pink, pinker, lighter pink. I'm wondering how light it would be when it dries up. so much fun. I wonder if I need any other colors. Do I need a blue? At the end, after I string them all up, I will try to put a picture at the very end of the video so you can see what they look like all strung up. And then I will also try to do um, a picture of them dried. trying to sop up all the pink, extra pink along the edges to make this one kind of light, but fill in my white spots. Because I don't know what this is gonna be like when it dries. And I'm talking about the cookie sheet. See, look, with all that dabbing and water and stuff, I still have white spots. I think this might be the lightest one of the bunch. If I stop now, it might be. <laughs> okay, I guess I can stop. Alrighty, so that's it. All right, guys, I have to clean this up. I have other things I need to get accomplished today on the table, and I cannot have all this pink everywhere, but the white, yeah. All right, so I have all this left over. I, I hate not to use it. Maybe, let me... Let me do one more strip of material so that I don't waste this paint because I have nowhere to store it and it'll go right into the garbage. And I know people are horrified. I could put paper in here, dye paper pink. Maybe I should try that. Okay, so that's what I'll do as soon as I find some. Right, here's the light one. 
there's not much to squeeze out of it. Okay, so I'm going to take all of this. Oh, there's more white in the bottom. Spritzy. Okay, so I'm going to do paper. So I need a whole lot more water. Because paper with good cotton and it soak up so fast. All right, there's a white spot. I don't want a white blob on my pink paper. Come on. There you go. All right, I'm going to have to take the gloves off and go get some paper and a couple more sheet pans because there won't be any room on my line to dry them that way, so I will have to stack my pans up. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and washed my hands off, got all my cookie sheets out. I wanted to put down another piece of paper underneath this one, although you can't, I'm not sure you can see it, see it's like that. And then um, I moved, I put the stuff on a sheet pan, the material on a sheet pan, and moved it somewhere else. Wow, this is a nice solid color. Wow. That didn't take long, did it? Ooh. Okay. I hate to waste paint. I really hate to waste paint. I know you guys do too. So, this, look at that, <laughs> from the white blobs. <laughs> All right, let me do this over here. This pan's not level, so. I'm going to do this, kind of drain it off a little bit because I think maybe I have it too thick in here. I need to water it down some more. Look, there's white spots that didn't get covered. Come on, drip, drip, drip. All right, then I'm going to lay this on the sheet pan right next to me. And I'll show it to you. I just got to get it on there flat. Right, so I don't want all this pink on here. I mean, I do want it pink, but I also would like to dab some of it off to give it kind of a marbly look. Oh, look at that. Colors from the sheet pan are coming up. Whoa, got green on my pink sheet. <laughs> What are the odds? I'd say 100%. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave this one here. And when I have clothesline, uh, some, let me, let me give you a tip. If you're going to hang your stuff on clotheslines, and I use regular clothespins, you know, the springy ones, and I don't dry these all the way on here. What I do, it could the sheet pan heats up like, whoo. So what I do is I dry the first couple of inches top of the paper with the um, heat gun. Then I use that part to attach the clothespins to the clothesline. Because if you try to do this on wet paint with wet, wet paper, completely wet paper on the clothesline, two things will happen. You'll rip it and your clothespin will stick to it because you have paint on it. And sometimes when it dries, it melds to the clothespin. So my advice is you dry the first couple of inches or an inch where you're going to put the clothespin and then the rest of it can be wet. It'll be fine. All right, that's one. Let's see. Let's move this one here. And let's put more water in here because I don't want pinky, 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 pinky. What am I doing? I should take this. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. What am I doing? <laughs> They're like... Pour it in there, silly girl. Oh, now I've ruined my lid. Okay, we're doing really well today. 
uh, my advice to you guys, if you do projects like this, don't don't waste your paint. Paint something with it, jelly print with it, do something with your extra paint, because paint's not cheap. And even if you use cheap paint, when it's gone, you still have to replace it with other paint. So don't waste your paint. Look at that beautiful marble. Oh, I like that. I don't know why it's like that, but I, I would love to replicate that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, no, no. I don't want it to go that way again. Oh, there's a bubble. Bing. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, I'm kind of shaking it off a little bit. I don't want to mess up the marble on the front, so I'm going to lay it down now. If it messes up on the back, I don't care, but I like that marbly color on the front. Let me wipe this off, or I'll have it all over the place, which is pretty much what's happening now. All right, I'm gonna put these on the floor because I'm running out of desk space. And I stack them, this, this, you know, like this. They may sit on the uh, paper cart for a while till the clothesline is available. And if they're not dry all the way, then I will put them on the clothesline to dry the rest of the way. Or I'll take the heat gun if I'm in a hurry and I will dry them that way. If I dry them in the pans, the top ones get dry fast because of the ceiling fan, but the rest of them will be damp below, which is, you know, probably standard. Okay, let me let it drain this way because I have white spots. Look at the bubbles. Those look cool, but I don't I thought it was white paint and they're just bubbles. I like the marbly look. Alright. I have the feeling one side of the paper will be a lovely pink and the other side will be like an ugly brown or green or some kind of wackadoo color. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. Sorry, the loud noise. Um, let's see, let's get another one. This is very heavy computer paper. I don't know what I bought. I've had it quite some time now. Drip, 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 drip. And then drip the other direction. If nothing else, this will be wonderful um, paper to stamp on or to um, use in a junk journal, which I haven't done in ages because I've been so knee-deep in doing AOM that I just have not done the things that I enjoy doing. Although I have been knitting, so that's not a total loss. <laughs> I really enjoy knitting, but it gets hot here in Texas, so whatever knitting projects I do have got to be small and not sit in my lap for any length of time. So usually socks, hats, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm doing a baby afghan right now, and I'm, I'm about 10 inches away from it being finished. Oh, shoot. I didn't get another cheap pan. it. Okay. Put this one on the floor. All right, so there's this one. Now oh, I got to let it drain. It takes a long time for this stuff to dry just on its own if it's not on the clothesline. Like I said, stacking them up in the the cookie sheets is not the fastest way to dry them. But that's, I have to make room for what I've got, you know? All right, there's another one. Whoop, yep, whoop, nope. I have one, two, three, this is the fourth pan, so I have three waiting. 
and I don't want to spray any more water in this because I only have four sheet pans left. Look, see. If I wonder if I do this, it'll add some character to it, some other nuance. It's hard to grab the corners without ripping them. I like the way they look. All the drippy marks and the fingerprints and all the smears. Look at this. Wait, wait. No, don't mess it up. Oh, shoot. Look at that. That looks awesome. Okay, this will be my front side as soon as I drip it. All right, let's put this over here. Let me clean off the edge of the pan. I don't want this pink stuff all over the place. I'm doing my best to clean up as I go, but let's face it, <laughs> it's kind of futile. <laughs> All right, so I'm running low on paint in the pan, and I'm not going to add water. I'm just going to roll it around and see if it goes under the sheet. Oh, there's more paint than I thought. Awesome. You go. Ugh, go away. Okay. Eh. All right, let's go on this side and try it again. I like the paper plow. I, I like this look. That's awesome. All right, so this will be the front. Let me see if I can get it out without ripping the edges. Yep. Okay. I don't care what the back looks like. I'm just more excited about the front. All right. Here we go. Right on a dirty sheet pan is totally going to change the back side. <laughs> All righty then. I have two more pans and very little paint. rubber glove. Do your thing. Now I'm going to spritz a little water. Because I've got there. I've got two sheet pans left and I want some bang for my buck. <laughs> I have no more pink paint. Wash the bowl out in the kitchen sink. Okay, that's useless. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, you know, if there wasn't that line there, it would make a lovely print. Ugh. Okay, I have one sheet pan left, and I really don't. I'm just going to dry it in this one. There's no point in taking it anywhere else. Alright, so there we go. So, I am done, and I will post pictures at the end so you can see what kind of mess I created, <laughs> so y'all can understand. Look at that. Look at the variations in the colors. I mean, in the saturation. It's saturation. I like it. I like the way it looks. And if I'd have set it on this one, Lord knows what would have happened to the backside. Woo-wee! Okay, guys, so this is it. So the ending will be full of photos. Four, five, six, eight, <laughs> whatever I can take pictures of, and I will post them on the end. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy dyeing.